Hi there. I've got a little something for you. What, me? Yes, you, sir. Come on over. What's this? Don't tell me you've never seen one of these around town. It's a Who Cares badge. Everyone's wearing them. It's not exactly inspirational, but strangely appropriate. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do. Wear it with pride. Have you got any bugger off badges? Fresh out. There's always something to do in Clapper's Reek. Help us find missing children, for example. Creepy Clapper's walking tours available. Meet near homeless shelter at noon. Bring plenty of change if you value your life. I never imagined Clapper's reek had so much to offer. Want to learn more? I'd rather snog a turd. Suit yourself. What are these? Ah, glad you asked. That's an information pamphlet. Everything you never knew about Clapper's Reek. There's nothing I don't know about Clapper's Reek. In fact, there's plenty I wish I didn't know. Ah, oh, well, this is just the good stuff. No wonder it's so small. Clapper's Reek is rife with history. Read about the statue in Cottage Park. Follow the architectural brothel tour. The story of the great fire of last Tuesday. The ceremonial ringing of the mayoral beer mat. The annual pheasant kick, Willie's waggle, pickpockets row, Seamus's grotto. Enough. If I take one, will you shut up? Sure. Thank you. No, thank you. I'm here to help. What was that, sir? I said I'm here to help. Actually, I heard you the first time, I just didn't believe it. I'm supposed to get you anything you need. Wow, fantastic. How about a coffee? Thanks all the same, good citizen, but what I really need are donations. Here is a donation to what I believe the restoration of an equitable social climate in Clapper's Wreath is worth. 22p. Thank you, kind sir. And here's a little something for you. What are these? Clapper's Reek breath mints. Dissolves on your tongue, makes your breath sweet as the song of the Clapper Finch. I am never, never eating one of these. Have I helped you? Hey, every little helps. I'm a long way from done. Are you saying you're willing to do more, noble citizen? Depends. What's the minimum I can contribute to consider you helped? Surprisingly little, considering the state of the town, I mean. How much? See, my citywide renovation plan outlays an entire budget structure. Oh, let's see, taking into account property values, printing costs, a small PR team, the tanker of ammonia. How much? 25,000. You what? Pounds? It's really very little when you consider all the facts. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? I've got another donation tin, if you like. Do you expect to raise 25k off the pocket lint of this town full of grunts? You know what they say, from tiny acorns to mighty oak trees grow. I went from tiny malformed babies to epic tossers like you grow. I'll be back when I find some funding or a fairy flaming godmother. I look forward to it. I've gone light-headed. Looks like some hostages are going to die today. Have an absolutely super day! Bite me! No way, ho! That baby ain't mine! Hey! Where's you going, fat boy? Go catch a bus, short ass. I'm here on business. Yeah, fugly? What kind of business? Because I'm thinking we could make it our business. If we're gonna do business, one of you's gonna have to translate. 
Now, I'd stab you, but I don't want to get your blood all over my new trainers, yeah? ba da ba da Oh, thanks, boys. You've got a bright future ahead. Hey, boys. You still looking for a bit of mind-altering tablet-based entertainment? Huh? We don't want nothing from you, copper. You trying to set us up? Go commit your hate crimes somewhere else. Shame. I had a few items from the evidence room I was looking to offload. But you little boys probably couldn't handle it. Whoa, whoa, hold up. What you got? Oh, never mind. Just the latest party experience. Hold up, bruv. Sorry to bother you. I said, hold on, let me see those again. Yeah, mate, I done these before. They called, uh, they called. Uh, nob. Nob, yeah. Yeah, mate, I take nob all at a time. It's wicked. Makes you like all full and that. Hey, I'm not interested in your life story. You want this or not? Yeah, we's interested. Hand them over. Careful, lads. Those things are curiously strong. Blow your heads off. Well, clean up your sinuses at the very least. Rip it up, boys. Let's go. Mental, mental, chicken oriental. Nob, oh, Nob, stop. we love Nob. Oh, Nob, Come on, Nob, Nob. Right. Oh, I love Nob. Nob's wonderful. Right, now I know why some mammals eat their children. Red, my favourite colour. I never understood this statue. Oh, now the pounding's outside of me head. This is almost worse than having to touch that paper clip. Remind me not to put me hand in my pocket. Damn, I'm good. That is one tiny door. Bigger on the inside. Well, let's get to it. My god, there's a squatter in here. Eh? Barkos at the gate? You'll never take me alive, you damn dirty Barkos! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm basically dead anyway. I'll need your help to fix this clock. You need my help. You need my help. Oh. Really, was it? I spent the better part of my life serving Queen and Country, and the worst part in bowels of this damn clock. Nothing but the rats, this training video, and me triple distilled jelly night to keep me company. And nobody comes to do her. Town Council, Preservation Society, punk kids in their wheelie boards. Now, you, they don't want to know nothing except how to fix the flipping clock. Well, bugger all of you. Can't argue with a double barrel shotgun. There's the door. Any good war stories, old timer? Bah, you don't want to hear an old man jabber on about war. Okay, fine. It was done. Air dropped into the thick of it, strapped to this very chair. Me and me unit were cut off. Cornered. Three Borkos approaching had to smear ourselves with our own faeces to avoid detection, hunkered down in a ditch. Turned out to be two sisters carrying their gerbil to vet. Made mincemeat out of them. Happy times. Innocent human lives are depending on this clock. Ha! None of them ever took the time to talk to me, did they? Screw them! Tell me another war story.
It was early morning, February. The Big Freeze, we called it. No time for imagination back then. Ship had been stuck in the ice for three weeks. Cold, damn cold. So cold I wasn't able to keep me bearings. I have metallic ones now. Right bugger going through airport security, I'll bet. You wouldn't believe. Tell me more about the war. Dawn. North Atlantic. We were deep behind enemy lines. Just spotted a large shoal of cod off the starboard bow. And then out of nowhere, an Icelandic trawler appeared. It were bearing down on us. No hope of avoiding them. Had to engage. Oh, I still get flashbacks. Night time's the worst. I can still taste the salted snacks that they offered us during heated negotiations. What war was you in, anyway? You what? All of them, bucko! So, after the war, how'd you end up here, in this clock? Well, tanks, clocks, they're all the same on the inside, really. What's wrong with this clock? Thirty years ago, lightning struck that tower, and it hasn't run since. Were you in here when it happened? Yep, fried me cable. Thank God for this VCR. Have you tried fixing it? Clapper's League Preservation Society always banging on at me to fix it. I told him, you try taking a neck cutter to the chest, then see if you feel like fixing the bloody clock. So, now that we're chums, what would it take to get this clock working again? When the lightning hit, it blew the minute hand and the X clear off. What do you need to fix the minute hand? A new one. I mean, what's it need to look like? Any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation never hurt either. I don't know, see what I can do. You go find me some parts and then maybe we'll talk. Well, well, if it isn't Blind Alley, and in front of the pawn shop, no less. By the overwhelming whiff of body odour eaten on a prawn curry, I must be in the presence of Inspector Hector. Back again, are you? <laughs> What's in the bum bag today, you depraved, lecherous perv? Oh, you know, the usual. Yeah, I figured as much. Yep, <laughs> you know it. He used to say, come inside on the doormat, but the cleaning bills were horrendous. Filthy Rich, the hub of the Clapper's Reek porn industry. Well, he's not really the centre, but we call him the hub because he's large enough for things to rotate around him. Hey Rich, still peddling silicon enhanced pipe dreams to the pathetic local palm jockeys. Hey, good luck. A good thing you stopped to buy. You're two payments behind on your Razzle subscription. Uh, oh, right, yeah, uh, thanks for the reminder. Who could pass this up? Pays to be prepared. He leads back to town. My staff is now greased. This should appease that crotchety old Time Lord.
Hey, I brought you this. Uh, it'll do. Go on upstairs if you like. I'll get to work as soon as my show's done. Still don't mean we're friends, though. Doubt he'll be needing this. I mean, seriously, a drill to fix a clock. Probably has a set of really tidy hammers or something. Other requests? Papa's got a brand new bag. I knew it! He's not just a talentless prat, he's also a criminal. You know, Papa's got a brand new bag. I believe I can accommodate that request. You see anything you like? Got anything red? Nope. Maroon? Nope. Crimson? Just what's I, pal. Fine, just give me that blue one with the G on it. Ah, a G G la G. Excellent choice. Your wife will be over the moon. Don't have a wife. Your girlfriend will not say no the night. Don't have a girlfriend. That'll be 30 quid. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Actually, this handbag is about to be used in a covert police operation. Let me introduce myself. D.I. Hector, Clappers Reek Police. Ah, on the house. Have a great day, officer. It's one for the video library. Oh wow, it's got enough crap in here to open a stall at the market. Christ, he's finished the bottle. Even the vapour took the air off me knuckles. He used to say, come inside on the doormat, but the cleaning bills were horrendous. He used to say, Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of Debbie. Oh, hell, I don't know the code. He's fixed the VCR.
close one. You're telling me! You've been a regular at Exotico for some time now, haven't you? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> the loyalty card was my idea. <laughs> You know how to get past the security door behind the counter? A, a matter of fact, I know the code. You what? Give it to me. Well, well, Blind Alley got something you need, so what can you do for Blind Alley? Oh, I suppose you got something in mind already. <laughs> Blind Alley needs a favour, a bursting for a little <laughs> companionship. Okay, but I draw the line at mouth kissing. Uh, not you! Hell, Hector, even I have limits! Thank God. Look, just get me something from inside, something <laughs> tangible. Tangible? Well, like one of those orange smelly soaps. Oh, come on, Hector. Get me something a man like me can really appreciate, if you know what I mean. Oh, the things I do in the name of justice. <laughs> 